Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Ten hut! At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I'd planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud.
A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. 
Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Huh. I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it.
got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Find someone else to do your dirty work. I want no part of a gang war. Here are the coordinates, nonetheless. What you do with them is your decision. Could you really let these men live, knowing that you can stop them? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. 
You shall be well rewarded. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. A research facility in the Hades Gamma Cluster was the victim of an attack by biotic extremists. A daring alliance raid killed the biotics. Miraculously, none of the researchers were harmed. The facility is expected to reopen soon with tighter security measures in place. I'm already getting readings! This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. 
I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Have increases in Citadel traffic endangered our safety? Emily Wong offers an inside look at the dangerous world of space traffic control. Hey, hey, you're the shepherd kid. Hey. Been a long time, huh? I'm sorry, do we know each other? Well, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah, it's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. The 
This isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, and when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. What kind of incident? You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling, uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. <laughs> <laughs>